In this video, I'm going to show you how to get diamond pistols super easy and very fast with this in-depth guide. So if I help you out at any point in time in this video or you guys enjoy, please do me a huge favor and leave a like on the video. Also subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and turn that bell notification on. Let's get into it. So first off guys, there is a lot of information in this video and I highly recommend you guys watch the entire thing. That way you guys get all the information. But if you need help with something specific, there will be timestamps in the description to help you guys out. Skip to whatever part you need help with the most. Also, there will be bonus tips at the end of the video and I will be giving class setups as well. So stay tuned for that. That way you guys can get out there and grind and get these done very quick. The pistol is a completely different breed of its own. So for this video to make sense, I'm going to be showing you guys the game modes you want to be playing first go to play hardcore hardcore is absolutely essential for pistols they are actually op because most of them are a one shot at almost any single range i highly recommend hardcore dom because that will help you out with most of the camos that you're going to be getting but you can also play hardcore tdm and hardcore kill confirm it's really up to you guys my suggestion is hardcore dom for the maps you guys are going to be playing these game modes on i'm going to give you my top three. First is armada secondly crossroads and third garrison these are the best maps that i found most successful for me when grinding for my pistols but you guys could play whichever ones you really want it's up to you pistols are insane now that you guys have a little bit more context i'm going to be giving you the best equipment to be using first off a field upgrade jammer helps a lot when you are controlling an area and if the enemy team gets a uav and they go into your spot that you are trying to control they won't be able to see you on their mini map for the lethal and tactical honestly this could be whatever you guys want for me i use stim but for some of the challenges you may need stuns so go ahead and use that also the lethal is literally your choice i just been going for long shots across the map with the tomahawk perks are absolutely essential for using the pistols so starting off you guys want to make sure you have perk greed equipped next go into your perks on perk one you want to make sure you have attack mask this will allow you to not get stunned by any of your opponents and forward intel forward intel is absolutely op in this game your minimap will show a larger area that way you'll know when enemies are coming when you get your uavs up moving on to perk two i would recommend using scavenger that way if you guys are wrecking the other team you get more ammo from downed opponents also use tracker so you can follow people that were running around corners and you will be able to shoot them in the back for perk 3 i recommend using ghost this will keep you off enemy spy planes and that way you are not on their radar also use ninja this will allow you to run more quietly and when you are controlling an area you'll be able to sneak up behind your opponents catch them off guard they'll have no idea you're there so there are three pistols in cold war but all of them have the exact same camos so i'm going to be going over each camo and what you guys need to do and tips with each one of them make sure you guys use the timestamps in the description if you need help with a specific camo also make sure you stay till the end of the video because i will be giving you bonus tips for each pistol but also class setups to help you grind most effectively starting off with spray 150 eliminated eliminations go use the gun for stripes you need 50 headshot medals go kind of camp around a corner and aim at headshot height you should get headshots that way but this one kind of just happened as i was playing leveling up the gun for classic you need to go on a five kill streak without dying otherwise known as a bloodthirsty 20 times or if you guys didn't know this one will stack so if you go on a 10 kill streak with your pistol that'll count for two of these so you can rack these camos up very quickly i would recommend holding down the middle area on armada on hardcore dom especially for geometric you need to get 25 long shot medals and this one i found it was easiest on garrison and just kind of spawn trapping and keeping people in their spawn on hardcore dom on flora you need to kill 25 enemies detected stunned or blinded by your score streaks equipment or field upgrades in multiplayer so the easiest way to do this is just use a uav in hardcore dom and when your uav pings them you guys can kill them but if you want to speed this process up also use stun grenades stun them kill them easy camos science is going to be the hardest camo you are going to grind for the pistols i don't know why but this challenge is impossible you need to shoot and kill 25 enemies taking cover from you in multiplayer it's hard i don't know why it's hard so i recommend you guys play on armada for hardcore dom and hopefully you can get somebody camping at their spawn on their side of the flag in their building shooting through the windows when they are doing that they're usually going to be crouched and head glitching with a sniper let's say use a two times scope on your pistol and try to get your long shots and shoot enemies behind cover taken out that way but this one is kind of just going to happen while you play so good luck with it again it's it's really hard to do i'm i'm being genuinely honest with you guys here this is the one that took me the longest this was the one that was the last challenge i need to do the last cam i needed to do for all three of my pistols 
Another thing, Garrison is also a really good map for this because there are a few head glitches that enemies do tend to go on pretty frequently. So run those two maps. Finally, for Psychedelic, you need to kill two or more enemies rapidly 25 times in multiplayer. In Hardcore Domination, this is a very easy camo to get. You will be getting double kills almost all the time because pistols are one shots and it's easy to just kill multiple enemies. Again, I'd recommend kind of controlling enemy spawns and also killing them off of objectives. For the class setups, I actually use all the same attachments on all the pistols, so I'm just going to go through why I use them and then show you guys the class setup. So, the optic is the microflex LED. This will give you the most visibility possible inside a site. If you don't want to use it, you don't have to. This one's more personal preference. Moving on to the muzzle, I use the agency suppressor. The reason we use this is that it gives you a buff on your vertical recoil, but also if your enemies have a UAV, you will not be showing up on their minimap. Moving on to the barrel, I use the task force barrel. This will give you a buff in damage, effective damage range, and bullet velocity. This will make your gun absolutely insane. Moving on to the magazine, I use the fastest full mag that you can get. So the 14 round fast mag, this will go for all of the pistols, just use the last one basically. And the handle, I use the serpent wrap as you can see here. This one gives you a 25% increase in ADS time, but only 10% down on your sprint to fire, opposed to this one that will take down your 15% sprint to fire. Even though it gives you more ADS, I found with all of my experience using the pistols, this one is the best. As you guys can see, with all the pistols, the class setups are the exact same. They are the exact attachments that I use on all of them. This is just the best class setup that I found for all of them when using the pistols. So you guys have now made it to the bonus tips and I really only have two, but they will help you along with your grind for camos. So first off, in Hardcore Dom, you guys wanna get comfortable with controlling the enemy spawns and spawn trapping them. You could do this by yourself in a random lobby or with your friends. I suggest using friends to help you out, but you guys should control A flag and B flag, let's say, and then keep your enemy spawned on C. You'll be able to get your long shots, your bloodthirsties, and your double kills very easily and very effective. This is how I was able to get my camo so quickly, just manipulating the opponent's spawns in Hardcore Dom. Now the second bonus tip that I have for you guys is try to find some friends that you could play with or maybe make some online and have them run UAVs. This will help you out a ton with getting your double kills and bloodthirsties again because you will have the upper hand on your opponents when they are coming around a corner. They will have no idea you are there. So make sure you have teammates to help you out the best that they can in order to get your camos very, very fast. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions at all, let me know down in the comment section below. I'd be happy to help you guys out the best I can. If you enjoyed this video or I helped you out at any point in time, please do me a huge favor and leave a like on it. Also subscribe to the channel if you guys are new for more guides and glitches. I post almost every single day helping you guys out the best I can. Check out the videos you see on your screen right now and I'll see you guys later. Peace.